Hey everyone, how's it going today? Hope everyone's doing well. Hope everyone's family's doing well as well. Today I do have a very interesting problem that I did find. It kind of spun me around a little bit, but figured it out. So it's really interesting. So I have an A2141. This is a really nice, this is the 16 inch, not the 15 inch, the 16 inch 2019 MacBook Pro. You can see it's very, very dirty. It's very messy. Um, but that's not really why it's here. You see the keyboard's a little bit nasty. We'll get into that just a little bit uh, later here, but it's really interesting. The client actually did use it. They turn it on this morning and they keep going. They see this Apple app logo here. And then what it does is it goes right into another mode automatically. And it's going to be looking, it looks like it's like an internet recovery or something like that, but it keeps getting stuck there. Uh, let's see if it comes up. Okay. So it restarted itself. Let's see. So it should be going into like this uh, mode where it's going to be, you see that now it keeps going in that it keeps going into like the internet it looks like it's the internet recovery mode that's what it looks like from here um every time you try to restart it and turn it on it does actually keep going to that way and um something really interesting was while well, you're thinking well you know there was an operating system there now there's not maybe there's just an update maybe the hard drive maybe the ssd inside went bad even though it's soldered maybe something happened to the os i don't really know so that's a very good question. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys a few little things that I did figure out here. I want to show you guys actually on the top view so I can actually show um, a little bit of a camera here. And let me show you guys something very interesting. All right. So you're probably thinking, all right, let's go ahead and just do the normal steps, right? So if I turn it off and turn it off, cool. Now I want to hold option and see if that's going to give me to like a boot menu or something, right? That's what I really want to see. It's, is it going to give me to boot menu? Is it not? I'm going to hold actually option here. Okay, came on. Let's see if I get it to any type of boot menu. Okay, so it looked like it was some type of internet recovery or some type of uh, diagnostic or something like that. Okay, now well, I want to try one thing, and sometimes this can work, is if you actually hold Command Option PNR, which is like a um, MV RAM, it's like an MV RAM reset, and or the PV RAM, whatever they whatever you guys want to call it nowadays on the newer ones, I think it's a little different. So I'm gonna hold Command Option PNR, and watch what's actually gonna happen now. Something is gonna happen, and you're gonna see a status bar come up here. See that? Okay, I'm gonna let it go. Now we have a status bar, and now it's booting. And where it's booting, it's booting to an OS. That's what it looks like. So let's go ahead and see. Oh. Okay, I'm covering up the name right now, obviously, because I don't want to show the customer's name, but you can see that boots to an OS. So you're thinking, okay, makes sense to me. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off again and see if we get anything else. So we do have an OS, we do have Monterey on here. Now I'm gonna just, just try regularly booting it back to an OS again. Let's see if we can get there or not. Or is it just always going to be stuck in the loop? Apple logo and back here again. Okay, let's let's go give it what it wants. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to go put in the credentials. Oh, you see that? Did you see that? I'm not pressing anything. What was that? Now it's back on again. Okay. So let's see what this actually is. You saw that? That was interesting. So that seems like there was a key press there when there wasn't any type of key press. Okay, so I put in my password. I'm going to go type it in. Hit, hit return. And it didn't like that, huh? Okay, so I typed in my password. I hit return. And what is it doing now? It says internet recovery. It doesn't say diagnosis. It says internet recovery. So start internet recovery. And let's see what we're going to get here. Okay. So you see that it gets to a diagnostic mode. Um, the diagnostic mode is the only way you can trigger a diagnostic mode is by holding D when you turn on for the first time. And that seems to be like uh, a thing, right? That's probably what happened. And you saw how the even the internet recovery was still giving a problem as well. And it wasn't really internet recovery. It's actually a diagnostic mode. So I'm thinking that is what the problem is. So I have a really interesting theory. So let's go ahead and turn this off real quick. And we can check this even here. We don't have to go super far into it. So let's turn it on like normal. Okay, and it's gonna go back to the diagnostic phase. So why is that? Usually that means that there is a problem with the key, right? So if this key has a problem, I'm gonna go choose the network again. I'm not gonna type in the password. You know what? Actually, what makes it funny is part of the password we have, oh, we see that again. 
So it looks like there's a key that has gone bad. And the key, see, if I hit this button, nothing. And if I hit this button, you see that? We actually do get some button presses here. So the D key, isn't that interesting? The D key is the problem. And what the D key is gonna do, because when you turn on for the first time, if you hold D, it's gonna do what? It's gonna hit go to diagnostic mode. If we go F, G, H, oh, we had a few other keys, right? Some of our repeating key presses here, some are maybe highlighting a little bit. So there's a problem with the keyboard. That's what's going on here. Okay, guys, so that seems to be the big problem, is that there is a problem with the, the palm rest, the keyboard. It's really interesting how that can do it. It kind of just went me on for a circle there because I was like, why isn't it working? Why can't it access internet recovery mode? Why can't I go to the boot option menu? Why can't I go to the OS? Why can't we do so many things? And one thing that really did let me know is when the customer did drop off, they tried to turn it off and it kept turning itself on. And it's like, hmm, the only thing that could really be with would be some type of hardware problem. Most likely there's probably a keyboard. So it actually did really make sense in the long run. So anyways, guys, I hope you guys are going to watch this video. So what we need to do is we need to do a palm rest keyboard replacement. We have lots of videos actually doing that, but I just want to show you guys a really interesting thing that we did see in here, especially it's coming for repair. We're going to go ahead and do that for the customer. Stay tuned for that as well. We do have lots of videos actually doing the repair on these ones. We do like the M1s, the MacBooks. They're all pretty similar, uh, replacing um, palm rest keyboards, those things. If you're interested in that, we have lots of videos ticked um, on that. You can go ahead and check it out. But we'll get started on that. We'll make sure it's all done, and that'll be about it. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please leave a like. It really does help us a lot. Subscribe for more content. See you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care. Bye.